you know, a tiny yard like this. Toe to toe. And that is a whole yard, right. folks. Can look like this. We're gonna show you how. Come with us as we transform from residence to resort. Okay, so here is what we're up against. This wow. this yard is as big as this TV. I mean, <laughs> this thing, look at this. It looks this. like a single car garage. I mean, I see wall after wall after wall. Yes. Yeah. This nice. one is literally our smallest yard we've ever taken on. They basically said, hey, they want to have a lot of seating for friends. Okay. They, they do a lot of entertaining. Wow. They said they want something they haven't seen before. It's, it's going to be harder in this kind of space. This one will be. They also want a spa. Okay. A spa. A spa. And they asked for a putting green, but not just a putting green. He's, he's, in, he's actually in the NFL as a hockey player. Okay. And he says he likes to do a lot of just out the outdoor stuff. And he wants to be able to chip into the putting green. Uh, I'm sorry, so, so he's in the end as a hockey player? Yeah, he's a hockey player. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to say his name or not, but yeah, I guess he's... If, but is it the, the, the NFL? Isn't, wouldn't it be the NHL? Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what, you know what I mean? <laughs> now <laughs> we're talking. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Anyways, this is what I wanted to show you this photo, and I want to get your input yeah. on this. But this is a key focal point across, so right? I'm assuming that's the, the dining room, living room. It is, right? exactly. So here's what we're up against. One, it's the smallest yard we've ever taken on. Two, they want to make it feel custom and resort-like with something they've never seen before. Three, they want a spa. Four, they want a putting green. Five, they want a wow feature off that door, off the doorway. Let's see if we can do it. Let's do this, I'm excited! This is gonna be fun. I mean, that is quite the list for that tiny yard. I don't know, this, Dude, this is gonna be a tough job. Dude, we got this. The house has been digitized. We've been working on this for a week and we want to show you kind of the progression of how we came to this overall finished design. Here, look, we, we have no room to grow. We can't go this way or that way. The only way we can really play with space is go up and down. I think drawing attention not to the actual depth, but actually to the width. Remember how we had the challenge of the, uh, they wanted a putting green, they also wanted to make it an engaging putting green. Anytime you can take a space and give it a little, like take advantage of certain elements and double or triple the value is what, that's what we took did here was triple the value. It's not just the design, but it's picking up materials. And so we went through a lot of our different materials here. We're a huge fan of Decton. All right, so let's see how this material looks on this wall. Here we go. Look how much better that looks. Materials, man. It's not just design with layout. It's materials that make such a huge impact. With such a small space, you really need things to be interesting to look at. You, you really need to have a really strong visual appeal because every square foot matters. Where sometimes other places you have the luxury of space. Seriously, this is gonna be so fun. Oh, to see I can't wait to see the person. All right, so let's go turn this tiny yard into a mini resort. Here in Irvine, California, Nate and I have been working on this job, but he's never seen it. This is our smallest yard, and it's later in the day, so I got the boys with me. Boys! Hello! Excited to show my boys, got them out of school, and ready to show them this yard, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay. It's tiny. You got Foxterra design as well, yeah. Thank you. Let's go check this out, boys. Wonder if I see a cool yard? Yeah. Great. It's literally been a while since I've been here. It's very simple in the front, but there's a connection with the architecture of the house, which is really important when you have something simple. All right, I'm really excited today. Nate and I have been designing this thing. He's never seen it, so I'm so excited to bring him back here. So I have no idea what's going on. Justin parked me on the driveway. He's not letting me see it. So Nate's been waiting out front while I've been getting everything on. Let's get him back here and see what he thinks of his own design being finally built out. All right, come back here. When we get close, close your eyes. I can't wait to show you, man. I can't wait to see it. Oh, that thing's gonna really like this thing. All right, so don't look. Close your eyes. <laughs> Turn backwards, and I'll just walk you back. <laughs> Dude, I am bracing myself. I'm on fire. Dude, I don't know how much I trust you right now. I don't know, I feel the presence of... Whoa, oh, 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 oh. One step, close your eyes. Okay, I hear water. I hear okay. Water. I, I hear One, water, two, dude. I'm not... Open. Oh. <laughs> Don't even go try it. Open your eyes, open your eyes. I was I'm twice open your eyes. Open your eyes, open your eyes. Dude, dude, this is a big reveal. Wow. What do you think, man? Wow, this is this is really sick to see the first time. I know, right? 
I mean, because this space is so tiny. Well, that's what I love. But I love too. that it's cozy, but it's still dramatic. I know, it really is dramatic, especially in person. When you have a small space, change up the surface levels. Whether you raise it or lower it, it's always gonna make it feel so much more appealing. I'm really nervous because I've never, uh, I've never chipped Whoever, with Nate whoever gets me. it in has to give me $1,000. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wrote in the client's course. Oh, <laughs> There you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 that's it, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. You come with fresh or what? The camera's on. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So we're doing all this stuff. We don't just do YouTube, we do Instagram and TikTok, by the way, so you need to check our hey, channel. Let's go check this out here. Step over here, remember when we were drawing this out uh -huh. and we weren't sure like what the client we thought would like? Like, I love the fact that there's turf on this lower section. Oh, absolutely. I even think this little simple cutout is the perfect finishing touch. It's such a cool look. It just gives that artistic vibe. Also, what I love is this little edge right here. Oh, just when you have the heaviness, and then there's a sliver where the air comes through the light. It just gives it that lightness. And honestly, the lighting is on point. What I like too is that we use cool fire technology. Watch this. <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. Don't do that at home, kids. This wall. This wall came out so nice. So good. On camera, you cannot tell. And I think a lot of people assume this is actually what this is porcelain. Yeah. This is 100% crafted in a factory porcelain, but it looks so real. It has a texture on it, and the best thing is it's not gonna fade, it's not gonna need to be treated like real wood is. To create that real illusion that it's real wood, use a black grout, and we yep. even told the contractor, have them sink the grout in, don't make it flush, and you can really feel like, it almost feels like a shadow. You know on so decks, true. you never see like the actual, like the wood below or the bottom? That's what we wanted to create that illusion here. And then we took advantage of this, in these angles, and we've created these custom light features for the client. And what, I mean, what a cool feature, right? To sit yeah. and just kind of enjoy the ambiance. Little details make a difference on small spaces. Always remember that. But if we had pushed these on the other side, you would have had no space to kick your legs. So instead, we push these to the side, closer to the spa, so that when you're sitting down, you have that space. And the fact that I can come in and out into this narrow space, because I was worried on the design level, this was gonna be so narrow, right, you feel like you're right. falling into the fire, right. and you don't feel like I know, I mean, because is this is your first time seeing it, yeah. so like, do you feel like the space was- Oh, absolutely, I feel, like honestly, it feels bigger in person than in the 3D. I just can't get over, because this I space, know, right? I can't wait to show you that this space is really small. We're gonna show you in a second how small this is. Toe to toe. And that is the whole yard, right. folks. So we always be coping Whenever you have a water feature like this, it is actually a spa, and we put grass on the coping. And this is so awesome because it kind of gives you a feeling of an infinity edge where the water's coming straight up to the yeah. edge, but you don't need to do all that extra expense, and it works. It just really works in a small space. Well, like you know this. what? Like, have you ever been golfing? Oh. Uh, There's never a big concrete barrier between the grass and the pond. There's always grass going right in. It feels so natural. So that's what we try to do here. Make it feel as natural as possible. It really softens it makes a huge, huge difference. This could have been just a smooth plaster wrapped around, but adding this little detail right here of this tile work. It really gives a dimension. And, and yeah, the dimension, doesn't it feel like, I mean, you've seen it like in person, yeah. what's your what's your thought? Oh yeah, I feel like without it, it would just feel really flat. Yeah. Now this one, really special feature. I know you saw us when we were picking the different options out on a little tile square. <laughs> But seeing it in a huge, large profile like this, I mean, what do you think? Like, I'm literally gonna jump in. <laughs> I feel like I wanna just experience it. And we have a hidden feature. Do not go away. You will not wanna miss this feature at the end of the video. I'm serious. Sometimes things, you need to think of, well, Justin's really good at this, thing outside the box. The main living area is right directly facing yeah. this. So you get a perfect view straight off and you're seeing this all the time. So have you noticed how small the space is by the, has a showing you? Probably not. Because there's so much to look at and that's what we love. In fact, boys, what do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think of this here? Before we show the grand finale, you guys haven't even seen the grand finale yet. No. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm just excited to show you because no one's Are really you excited. excited? Hold it. Yeah. <laughs> what is what is your favorite feature about? This? Um. Honestly, don't don't do it just for YouTube. Even though it will be on YouTube. <laughs> I love uh, the white bar right there, and then the chipping thing. Uh huh. And yeah, but, that's really. That's cool. awesome. What, what about you? yours, Holden? My favorite feature. <laughs> 
is the end one. The end one? Yeah, the one you know, don't give it away. The one you know is That we can't say. <laughs> okay. I did not tell him to do that, Michael. I can't do it. I did not tell him to do it, by the way. But I'm excited. Okay, let's jump into the final feature here. So I am so excited, Thanos. Oh, this is the. Oh, yeah. I can't like, wait to see this dude, in action. I know, me too. And I know you've been waiting for this, and I promise you it's worth it. So one, two, three. Oh, shoot. <laughs> one, two, three. Magic little. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Yes! Woo! We designed it where you could sit behind it. So literally you can sit, in fact, I actually think I should just test it out. What do you think? Should I test it out? I mean, dude, it's, it's freezing cold out. Should I do it? I don't know, I want to I would not. I would not do that. Oh, 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 it's cold. Woo! Oh, but this is worth it! So that water was cold. I mean, that was some Titanic iceberg <laughs> It was cold, but I do take cold showers. Your your verbiage really surprised me there. Uh, yeah. I don't know. He's, I just wanted to throw Justin off. Oh, this is so cool, and I'm not even getting wet. He's not even getting wet, guys. That's oh, amazing. Man, it's I can't believe he jumped in. I just wanted to get attention from uh, all our subs. Well, you probably got it. <laughs> I can show him back here. What did you guys want to do? So I want to pull a prank on my dad. We're basically steal his clothes. Whoa. But I don't where are we going to put them? I don't know. Where are we going to put them? What if we put them in the trunk? All right, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Hurry, hurry, before he comes. Let me see the camera. I got to get you on it. <laughs> this, the whole yard feels bigger being this low. Okay, why is it all black? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so literally, like this yard feels bigger being at this level, which is so cool. Thanks, man. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> He's soaking wet and it's really cold. You guys have the key? Guys, who has the key? I don't know. How are we gonna get the key? How are okay, we gonna pull this off? Ask my dad. Say you left here on time. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, go. Go. <laughs> Where's his clothes? Is that all of them? Yeah, that's Yeah, it. that's all of his spare clothes. All right. And his shoes too, get his shoes, yeah. Guys, I think he's coming. Hurry, hurry. Oh! <laughs> Hurry, let's close it out, let's close it out, hurry. <laughs> Where are you going? Hold it! Hold it! Are you, are you losing it, hold it? <laughs> so, we just hit my dad's clothes and he's freezing back there. What he are we going to tell him, guys? Uh, let's just say, let's oh. just pretend like he didn't bring them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just like pretend yeah. he forgot them. You didn't even change? Dude, I, I thought I had clothes in here. <laughs> are you still soaking wet? I literally thought I had clothes. I almost always bring clothes for. Uh, oh my gosh, bro! Of all the days to not bring extra clothes. Yeah, well, don't rub it in. Oh we my need, gosh. We don't, need to, we don't need to put Sorry, this on dude. the. Uh, we don't need to put this on the thing. So. Just so you know, your clothes are in the back. We got you. Are you serious? We got you. We got you. Oh my word! I was starting to drive, and I was oh like. Oh my! We got ooh, you. I was. I'm freezing. I was trying to be like all serious. <laughs> like, I'll make it through. I don't, want you, I don't want you to get a hypo, hypothermia. Well, I was like, for sure. That's so funny because I was like, for sure I brought them. Oh my word. Look at this. I knew it. I thought for sure I brought stuff. And I took his clothes. I'm not ashamed. Kids, my little brother. What are you gonna do? So our Chick-fil-A, oh, I feel so much better. So hope you enjoyed this video. We have so many more videos like this to come. Not that I'll be jumping in every time. Remember, we had five challenges on this project. One, this was the smallest one that Nate and I had ever done. Two, we had to make something feel like a resort for the client. Three, he wanted a, a spa that was really unique and special. Four, he wanted an interactive putting green that felt really like custom and engaging. And five, he wanted something uh, very unique. And I feel like with all those challenges, this yard really pulled it off and it made the client so happy. Thanks for watching.